if you're using this drug, it might affect your bladder for the rest of your life. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon, and today I'm gonna to tell you a story of a patient who had this happen to him and which drug it is and how you can prevent this from happening to you. 30-year-old guy who was presumably normal up until two years ago when he started going to the bathroom every hour. Every hour he was urinating and sometimes he saw blood in his urine. He was also waking up four times at night, every night. And you can imagine how horrible that is for your quality of life because you are barely getting any sleep. If you're waking up every two hours, that's presuming you're sleeping eight hours to go to the bathroom. So after some time, the doctors find out that this patient was on ketamine. He was taking ketamine for five years and he had just stopped taking it about three months ago. So how does ketamine cause bladder problems and what exactly is ketamine? So ketamine is typically a drug used for anesthesia. It works by blocking glutamate from the brain from attaching to these receptors called NMDA. Essentially by doing this, it reduces pain, it helps with inflammation, and also can cause some antidepressant effects. But it's become a club drug. The reason being is it's kind of dissociative, meaning that you feel like you're separated from the world around you. And so it gives you kind of an enhanced feeling. A lot of people are using this drug recreationally and you might hear of it being called Special K, Vitamin K, Kit Kat, things like that. And so a lot of people don't know this, but it can have effects on the bladder. Also, a lot of people are using it because it's reportedly safe and doesn't cause addiction. So why a lot of people who wanna experiment with drugs will try this as a source of pleasure. And so what happens if you take it chronically? So usually if someone takes ketamine once or twice, they might have some gotta go, gotta go, going to the bathroom more frequently, but they usually don't associate it with taking the ketamine. If you start using it chronically, it can actually lead your bladder to become very small and painful and having to go very, very frequently and very, very urgently. It can also cause urinary leakage and in some cases it can also affect the tubes that drain the kidneys called the ureters. These can get blocked so urine cannot get down easily to the the bladder and that can cause problems with your kidneys. And when they did a cystoscopy on this patient that they wrote the case report about, they found these terrible ulcers in the bladder that were bleeding and they also saw a very small contracted bladder. So what can you do about it? So the first thing you have to do is quit ketamine. And after that, you can hopefully have some resolution from the symptoms, but it may take time. And for some people, it may not be complete. Usually we can try to treat the issues. So if there's ulcers, you can kind of uh, stop the bleeding from the ulcers. You can treat with different kinds of medications like we do for overactive bladder and try to improve the symptoms. But overall, it can take some time and sometimes it may not even get better. And so it's a really serious problem and in severe cases, it can require reconstructive surgery to enlarge the bladder. Bottom line, ketamine is not for recreational use. You shouldn't be using it. And certainly if you're using it chronically, you can end up with a horribly damaged bladder with a possibility that it may not get better. If you've enjoyed learning on this channel, please share this channel with your friends. I greatly appreciate you. And as always, you want to take care of yourself because you are worth it.